Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 11 of my Copper State Models 132nd Cauldron G3. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. At the end of the last episode, we had cut lengths of sprue to replace the straps around the tail struts. Now, we can glue them in place. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we have all those straps replaced on the tail struts. Now we have to let them dry before we sand them back, so we'll pop those over there. Whilst they're drying, let's sort out the wheels. I'm going to cut some short lengths of wire to emulate the air valves and then glue them in place with super glue before gluing the wheels together. So let's get that crack, shall we? There we go, that's the tyres done, and as usual, they need to dry. Now, as if by magic, or editing, we can clean up the wing struts. What we'll do is we'll trim the excess styrene off first with a pair of snips, then we can sand them back to the correct shape. So, let's crack on with that, shall we? Well, that didn't take long at all, and it doesn't need to dry either. Bonus! Next up, we're spraying the red on the cockades. We're going to be using Vallejo 70.909 Vermilion. I'll show that later on. But before we do that, we have to remove the mask for the red. So 
Let's get those masks removed and get the red sprayed, shall we? As usual, we did a light coat first, then another, then a slightly heavier coat until we got the opacity we wanted. Guess what? Yep, we're going to pop it over there to dry. Now we can turn our attention to the wheels. We're going to clip them off the sprue, clean them up and get them ready for priming. So let's get these cracked, shall we? That's the wheels all cleaned up and ready for priming. Yes, I know I forgot to spray the red on the tail. Okay, if I don't cock up it wouldn't be a half decent video, would it? And I'm pretty sure you only watch videos to see how many cock ups I make. Anywho, I'm digressing. We'll be spraying them with Vallejo's 70.909 Vermilion again. So here we go with that. Tail done, now to pop that over there to dry. Next up we're prepping to spray the blue part of the cockade, but first we need to replace the masks, hopefully in the right place. I'm not sure if I did that, but for the blue I'm going to be using X14 from Tamiya Sky Blue, so here we go with this.
And there we have the blue part of the cockade done. That needs to dry, so we'll pop that over there. But with the magic of editing, let's now remove the masks and see how it can, comes out. Oh, I do enjoy this part. There we have the masks removed. I'm fairly happy with them. There is some touch up required, but not a bad job. And what we're gonna do is we'll varnish them later and knock back the ridges left by the paint. Anywho, as you may or may not have noticed, the throttle and the other wing tip have broken off. The wing tips are a different story. I'm gonna to have to be pinning them later using wire to give them a bit of added strength. Anyway, now we can crack on with the touch-ups. I'm going to be starting with Vallejo's Off-White 70.820. So, let's get started. Now the Tamiya X14 Sky Blue. And back to the Off-White. And the last bit of the touch-ups, Tamiya XF59 Desert Yellow. And there we have all the touch-ups done, so we can pop those to one side to dry. Anywho, this seems like a good place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 11. If you want to see what happens in episode 12, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>